What's up guys? Welcome back. Well, I guess not welcome back. Anyway, I had previously tried to record the first episode of this, but uh, turns out my mic wasn't uh, super duper done well. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this was what I had tried to uh, start off here, but uh, hey, we're going to go ahead and uh, start a new crew here as is. Um, anyway, so we're going to try and rush through the tutorial as quickly as possible um, because that's not where the fun part of the game is. The fun part of the game is dealing with everything and all of our decisions and whatnot. Welcome to Athena Station. We have a mission that needs your immediate attention. What are we on here? The Star Catcher? Heck yeah. It appears a module in a comms array and by the moon is malfunctioning. We are we're not expecting any complications. This will serve as a perfect opportunity to go over some of the basic training. <coughs> We need you to go and retrieve the module, repair it on your ships, and deposit it back into the comms array. Now, if you have had any experience with the uh, the game that first came out in this series, which was Bomber Crew, then this should all look um, very familiar. And yes, Lil Mama, I was basically talking that whole seven minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, I had tried to record this, uh, this episode first off, and uh, I was like, talking and talking and talking for like seven minutes and turns out my mic was not properly adjusted anyway let's do this uh as i was saying this game is uh, very similar to bomber crew if you're familiar at all with that game or if you've by chance watched my series that i had on it originally um this all looks very familiar and all the controls are pretty much identical so let's uh go ahead and get on in this Alright, so they want us to deselect our crew. There we go, we will zoom. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Use the right stick to rotate the camera. Come on, come on. Come. There you go, hey, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, I can't do the L2 thing yet. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, okay. L2 to tag stuff. That's for any of your objectives that you're going to be dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, little mama. Don't barf. Um, <laughs> and in addition to that, it will also uh, be used for tagging our enemies so that we can tell our crew what to fight, what to shoot stuff at, and things, and stuff. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and head on over here. Select our captain and get that all ready because we're going to need to uh, charge our, uh, our little hyper jump once we get to the objective here okay there we go <laughs> all right let's get through this gate all right so we should be getting a message here okay looks like we've got some uninvited guests our scanners are picking up some incoming phasmid activity to your location wonderful we're uncertain how many are on their way so make sure all your weapon stations are manned let's do that real quick Let's get uh, Barnett over here and get him all situated. Let's get Paws all ready. There we go. Get our security officer in a turret, and there you go. So one of the big, uh, big changes that you'll see from this game to uh, Bomber Crew is that Bomber Crew, you only had like I think it was, uh, I think it was three, no two, two gunner positions I think in the beginning of the game, maybe three. Uh, you start off with four in this one, and they have got pretty decent range as far as, uh, you know, all that's concerned. But anyway, we're just basically going to be waiting for our crew to eventually land some hits and get some kills here. Another big difference between this and Bomber Crew, we have a shield. We're not just going to immediately start taking damage upon taking fire, so we've got a little bit of leeway, thankfully. Another uh, big thing with this game is uh, when it comes to your weapon stations, you have uh, two different types, two different types of uh, of actual uh, damage that you can deal. It's pretty pretty neat. All right, yeah. We're going to head over to the communications array. We'll go ahead and do that. Get our engineer. Get them all ready for our uh, our tractor beam. We'll accelerate time and get on over there and get aligned. Should be great anyway hey we've already caught up to the place where i was when uh you know i i was talking to myself earlier so hey that's great 
Alright. Hey, it could have been worse. I could have, you know, accidentally recorded, you know, a 40-minute episode and just been talking to myself. <laughs> I've never done that before. I joke, but I actually haven't ever done that before, and I dread the day when that's going to happen. Anyway, how is everyone? <laughs> oh, man. I had a heck of a day today at work. Okay, so we'll go ahead and send... Uh... Oh, yeah, we got to tag the jump gate. Where is it? There it is. Let's uh, send uh, Barnet over here. Um, I am going to be naming this crew. Um, oh, just some stupid stuff, little mama. Just stupid stuff at work. Um, we've been working our ass off to do these uh, these specific jobs. I'm a machinist, just in case you guys didn't know. And um, you know, we've been uh, we've been working our ass off to get some uh, some quotas done, and they always end up. We we did it, by the way. We we did we did fill what we needed to fill, but um, yeah, there's always there's always something that they can find to complain about, and uh, yeah, it's just just the usual BS. But uh, hey, that's not that's not why we're here, right? We're here to uh, we're here to play some video games, some video games. That's what we're gonna do. Land the ship, das. Okay. So we got the star catcher here. Uh, I would like to have uh, a few things uh, suggested in the comments. Uh, one, I need to fill out the crew. So we need five names, six names, I think. A um, few of them are going to be obviously filled as is, but we'll need uh, we'll need six names and give me a give me a rough approximation of what you what you want to look like. Um, I'll put myself on the crew um little mama little mama can be on the crew uh let's see uh i'm sure rockman would like to be our comms officer that's always his thing um but yeah i'm probably like three three names in the comments um but yeah and then you know what you want to look like and whatnot um and then yeah we'll we'll, uh, we'll 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 go from there but um i'll try and get uh I'll try and get at least a few missions in this first uh, first episode. Okay, this is the mission briefing room. Select a mission for your crew. I will pick the mission that I can do. Okay, so we will begin this. Hold X to begin mission end. Let's do this. Okay, although this is a real combat mission, there are still a few features of your ship that we will need to try out. At some point during this mission, some control of your ship and crew will be locked for training purposes. Yeah. Sweet. Let's get out of here. Because that's the sound that uh, ships make. Alright, let's uh, get on out of here. You don't really gain much control of your ship until you get a few levels with, uh, with some of your crew. Okay, before you hyper jump, let's run through how your ship's reactor works. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we will select uh, Barnet here. Okay, this is the engineer station panel. From here, you can modify reactor output to the ship's different systems, shields, weapons, engines, and gravity generator. Okay, while charging for hyper jump, four units of power will be diverted and locked to the engines. Yes. Until it's upgraded, the reactor only has four units of power, so currently all your reactor power is being used to charge for hyper jump. Yes, yes. Notice your energy weapons are showing that they do not have any power to operate. Oh my, my word. <laughs> your gravity generator and shield recharger are also without power. Oh no. We're all floaty floaty. After you complete your hyper jump reactor output will be returned to the previously set balance and everything will be operational again. Wonderful. Okay, select your captain. Let's do this. Engage. I promise, we'll get through this tutorial sooner than later. Okay. So they want us to get rid of gravity. No big deal. Yes, yes, notice that your gravity generator is indicating that it hasn't got enough power to operate. Oh no. We'll put that into weapons. 
because that's what they want us to do. Energy weapons require power in order to operate. They are more effective with more power. Non-energy weapons, e.g. autocannons, do not require power. Select your security officer. Got it. And let's uh, send them to... Uh, I guess they want them to go to this station over here for reasons. So, because there's no gravity, our uh, security officer here is uh, flying to their station very nimbly. Enemies incoming. Full ship and crew control has been returned to you. Sweet. Okay. Wonderful. Seeker, evening. Doing dishes, but I'm here. Hey, glad you could join us. Set your reactor power to your preference and move your crew to weapon stations as required. Okay. So we're going to actually move uh, Paws back over here. Uh, I'm going to select the weapons and actually put it into shielding. And then we're going to move Barnet over here. And we will assign violence in general directions. Wonderful. Okay. Now, none of our crew has any real abilities to do anything, not until level 2, so we're just kind of waiting to see if we die. Or when. Yeah. While we're waiting for inevitable death, uh, Lil Mama, what position in, in the ship did you want to, uh, did you want to have? I figured you'd want to be a gunner, but, uh, I wanted to ask first. What about you, Seeker? You want a position on the ship? You, uh... You're one of our, uh... more frequent viewers of the stream, so you obviously get first dibs at a position. So, okay, Seeker, we've got, uh... Let's see, engineer, security officer, and a gunner. What do you want? I'm obviously gonna be the pilot, because I am super piloty, and obviously in charge. <laughs> okay, we did it. We are not dead. Wonderful. All right, so Lil Mom is going to be one of our uh, one of our gunners, but uh, yeah, let's uh, get on over here. Engineer, okay. Engineer, seeker, the engineer. Don't get us killed, please. I know what you're thinking. No promises. I need a promise, seeker, that you're not going to get us killed. Let's do this. Now, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to do for uh, Space Crew, but, uh, you know, I think uh, I think we'll have some fun with it either way. Now, uh, we do have enemies inbound. There they are. And, uh, there's the other ones. Alright, now we wait for our inevitable doom slash victory. You can zoom way out here doesn't even look like you're moving when you're this far zoomed out. Oh, we're taking some real fire. Come on. Come on. Oh, our bottom shielding has been, uh, has took a little bit of a hit there. Got some more enemies inbound. Always pay attention to your uh, your scanner in the uh, bottom right hand corner. It'll tell you a relative position of uh, incoming threats, whether they're tagged or not, your objectives, everything. Uh, always want to pay attention to that stuff. And we're taking some uh, pretty significant fire here. So far, our shields haven't been breached. It's mostly because I. Uh, put the extra point into the shields. I'm the type that, if you give me the chance, I will be defensive over offensive. Um, not including my my very offensive uh, humor <laughs> some of the time, but anyway. There we go. And we didn't even lose our shielding. Wonderful. Aren't we just great? Okay, we cleared him. Sweet. Now, uh, a lot of the time in missions, uh, the longer you uh, dawdle around in an area, uh, the higher the chances that uh, you'll, uh, you'll actually encounter more enemies. And you can stay and fight them. If you do, you are risking, obviously, your entire livelihood uh, and the livelihood of your crew. But there is potential that you will get more experience. 
you know, if you don't horrifically get sucked into the void of space and lose everything. Anyway, we're back. Uh, they want us to go back to the base, so we'll do that. Before you return to Athena, we'll explain a little bit about your captain's piloting modes. Yes, yes, thank you. On the captain's uh, station panel, you can select the current uh, piloting mode. We don't, uh, strictly speaking, have anything else except for patrol right now. Currently, as the jump gate waypoint has been tagged, you can see that waypoint locked is highlighted. Let's try canceling this waypoint. Okay. I would give me control of the... Okay. There we go. Now notice how the jump gate was untagged. Tag it again and switch back to the following, uh, to follow waypoint. Yes. Um... Once we get to level 2, we will probably not use patrol anymore. Because uh, once we get to uh, level 2, we'll have access to defensive and uh, attack piloting modes. I will spend most of my time in defensive mode if uh, my choice to uh, power my shields over weapons wasn't any indicator of the type of playstyle I normally lead. Um, but yeah... I am very much a defensive uh, player when it comes to this game in particular. But uh, anyway, let's do this. So I've been watching this game recently called The Rift Breaker. Um, it's slated for a PlayStation release eventually, and uh, I really want to play it. it. Sounds really cool. Uh, my only fear is that they don't have any uh, optimization problems. Uh, starting off, but uh, anyway, if you haven't seen anything on that game, it's a base building kind of a tower defense thing. It's 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 pretty cool. If you know anything about me, I like tower defense games. Uh, okay, so we unlock some new abilities for our various uh, crew members. Our captain has gained attack and defensive piloting modes. Our engineer has gotten reactor boost, gives a small boost to uh, power to the reactor. Uh, security officer got shield replenish, which in a pinch, if you need to. Uh, bolster your defensive capabilities your security officer can do that and we also got uh, both of our weapons officers focus fire which increases their accuracy for a limited amount of time and it's very 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 useful also got some new gear and upgrades and stuff funsy funsy okay so we got some uh, we got some gear okay this is the crew gear room in here you can customize your crew's gear Different uh, crew gear will have different properties, such as resistance to damage, resistance to radi radiation, or improved mobility. Similarly to while on a mission, hold circle and use your D-pad to select a crew member. Okay, so we got DOS here. Uh, right, we are going to change Charles' name here to uh, Zans. And uh, the last name for this is going to be uh, Man. <laughs> yeah, you guys, uh, you guys got it. Uh, what do we have here? We got, uh, obviously male and female. Uh, we will pick a hair. Uh, there we go, that's fine. Uh, hair is so, so customizable. There we go, we'll do that. Uh, what kind of a mouth do I want? A little sad face? No. Buck teeth? No. A little coy little smile? No, a little Charlie bit me kind of a mouth. Let's go with the side smirk. Yeah, kind of eyes. Ooh, look at that. Look at those eyes. Ooh, You've got very boring eyes. There we go. We'll just go with the that. Okay. Uh, facial hair. What do they have for options here? You can get like the bomber crew special there. It's a pretty standard one. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go with no facial hair. Make it easy. Okay, there's uh, there's Zan's man. Sweet. Uh, okay, so we've got to get our comms officer here. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to uh, there's no way to uh, like randomize. But uh, this will be uh, rock. Man, but with one in to differentiate from me. <laughs> okay. I guess I should make it like. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this. The last name will be Rock. 
Hawkman. There we go. So that way it appears, and uh, it'll be uh, Rocky. There we go. Yeah. Rocky Rockman. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, one of our gunners here. We got Kelly over here. Poppy Kelly? No, okay. Little Mama, what's your character's name gonna be? We'll, uh, we'll figure all this out. Little Mama is blonde. Unless she wants a, you know, a, a different kind of hairstyle. Yeah, little mama, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you choose things. <laughs> give me a give me a rough description of what you want your character to look like, and I will make it work. Yeah, blonde. Yep, yep. As blonde as I can make you, anyway. Let's see. Uh, I I I guess that. Sure, why not? Um, I don't know what kind of hair do you want. They're not numbered or anything, so it's going to be a little hard to pick them. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, there you go. <laughs> the little, uh, little extravagant uh, little thing there. No, no, oh, okay, fine. Um, all right, all right. Uh, the Bob? Bob. There you go. <laughs> a sci-fi Bob. I don't, is that a bob? What's a bob? <laughs> Asking me all these ridiculous things. Why, hey, why can't the ladies have facial hair? Sexist. <laughs> oh, what kind of mouth do you want? You want a little buck, little buck teeth? <laughs> Seeker, give me a give me a rough description of what you want your character to look like. While I'm uh, messing around with this. Little mama's known for the bob. Yep, yep, yep. A little, a little derpy smile. I don't know what kind of eyes you would want. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little smile will be okay. Eh, a little smile. A little smile. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go with that. We've got little green eyes. Little green eyes, huh? Little green eyes. Okay, there you go. There's uh There's little green eyes. But don't worry, we'll we'll fix the uh we'll fix the uh the clothes in a little bit. Uh the name. What do you want what do you want the name to be? Little mama. Short brown, black hair, slight goatee, blue hair. All right, all right, we can do that, Seeker. Uh, we'll leave little mama right there for now, and uh, engineer over here. All right, so uh, short brown, black hair. All right, with a goatee. A little goatee. There you go. Hair color blue. I can do that. Ooh, dark blue or light blue? Ooh, that's the that's the question, isn't it? Got all the colors to deal with here. Light blue? Alright, let's do it. There you go. How about uh, skin color, eyes, eye color, all that. What you got? Short blue hair. You want to you want to look like a like a gentleman over here? Or do you want like the up close and Oh, there you go. That's that's some dashing hair right there. That's we're going to do that. Sorry, seeker. We're we're giving you that hair. <laughs> oh. All right. So we'll uh we'll call you a seeker. There you go. Uh, red eyes, tan, light skin. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there is like blue and white skin and like green skin and stuff like that, just so you know. Um, that's pretty tan. That's, 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 that's tan, light skin. Red eyes? I think we can do red. Can we do red? Ah, closest we're going to get to red is that kind of a 
kind of a hazel, unfortunately. Uh, we can give you blue eyes to match your hair. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do the red eyes. Let's see. Kind of, kind of eyes match this, this hair right now. Oh, I'm liking the, I'm liking the square eyebrows. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I think we gotta go with the square eyebrows. <laughs> uh, eyes or whatever. Yeah, no, I kind of figured. Same with like mouth. You're not being, you're not gonna be buck tooth. I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm not gonna do you like that, seeker. Ooh, you want the little ooh face? <laughs> uh, let's see. You want to show teeth, or do you not want to show teeth? That's the big question with the mouth. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm digging that. Uh, let's see. Gerard? No. It's going to be Hound. Hound Seeker. <laughs> Look like an 80s TV drama cop? Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Except, you know, blue hair, but, you know, whatever. Okay, little model, what did you want to do for your name? We didn't figure out your name. That's uh that's what we gotta figure out with you. You wanna be ARD little mama? You wanna be Lil first name Lil last name Mama? What do you wanna do? What do you wanna do? So right now, we're going to need two crew positions filled, security officer and another gunner. Should be fun. Okay, so how are we going to customize our crew? Yeah. First name Lil, last name Mama. All right. No problemo. Lil, Lil Kelly, no. <laughs> Lil Mama. We got Mama on Gunner over here. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get everybody all stocked up here. We're gonna give everybody the helmets. Uh, let's see. Our security officers always obviously have to be uh you almost look like a karen no way no way karens don't have green eyes <laughs> uh we're gonna have our uh, our gunners wearing red for now just uh just because so uh everybody's gonna be wearing this there we go oops okay uh let's see uh, pilots, what colors are pilots going to be? Pilots are going to be gray, sure, why not? Comms officer, comms officers are nerds, they get to wear blue. Oh, damn it. Yep. Everybody knows comms officers are, are nerds. They wear blue. Okay, engineer... Uh, engineer gets, engineer's gonna get, uh, green? Is there just, like, a straight green color? There's white. That's as green as it's gonna be, huh? Hmm. I don't know. Do we have a blue to match his, uh, nah, it's just, like, that brighter blue. But, I mean, that does match the, that does match the hair. I think we gotta do that. We're gonna have to change our, uh our color for our comms officer here. Comms officer is gonna wear this kind of a teal turquoise looking thing. Security officer... Security officer's gonna get gold. Congratulations. Gunners are gonna wear red. Alright, what do we got here? Yep, there's no downside to that, so everyone's gonna wear the gloves. And... We can get boots, but uh, honestly, they only give us five more armor, uh, but they give us minus 20 to our speed, which I am not going to do. Um, having our, having some of our people, you know, to have the ability to move around is, uh, is very important for us. Anyway, uh, how are we going to make Rockman look here? Um, make him a little, uh, make, make him green? 
We can make Rockman green. <laughs> Let's give him a little face here. Until Rockman says anything, uh, we'll uh, we'll just do whatever we want with him. <laughs> He'll have uh, green eyes to match his green skin. His hairstyle is going to be... Uh, Oh, I don't know. A little mohawk. There we go. He's gonna have... He needs the O face. <laughs> He's gonna have uh, white hair. Yeah. And uh, his facial hair. I'm kind of digging the, the evil... The evil little facial hair. Yes. There we go. Perfect. That's, uh, that's Rockman. I almost don't even want to change what he looks like now. That's perfect. <laughs> Can't even see his O face anymore. With that mustache. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so we have got our gunner position and our security officer that need uh, need filling. So uh, if you guys want to be a part of my crew and you want to be a gunner or a security officer, let me know. Leave it down in the comments. And uh, yeah, what, uh, what other mission do we have here? Okay, so we're on the actual missions now. Um, let's do one more in this episode. And then that'll that'll do it for the this one. Um, and then uh, after this one, I'll uh, get it all situated. Okay, so Zan's man, take us out. Yes, sir. Me. Okay. Before starting this mission, let's quickly go over some of the equipment on your ship. Yes. Equipment is stored in the equipment racks uh, around the ship. You can customize your ship's equipment loadout between missions on Athena Station. There are four types of equipment. Space suits, uh, fire extinguishers, phase rifles, and medkits. As a training exercise, we've started a controlled fire at the back of the ship for your crew to put out. Oh no. Seeker. You, you grab that, uh, you grab that fire extinguisher, you put that fire out. Good job, Seeker. Knew you could do it. Stow that equipment. Occasionally, your engines may become damaged. This will cause them to leak radiation in your ship, harming your crew. Oh no. To repair your engines, you'll have to send a crew member out of the ship. Make sure they pick up a spacesuit before going out. Yes, it's very important. Oh no. Our nacelles. I, I think I'm saying that right. Nacelles? N nacelles? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we've marked an engine as damaged. Let's try out repairing it now. Seeker, I'm going to need you to go out into the vacuum of space. Could you do that for me? Thanks. Um, yeah. All right, here goes Seeker. Out onto the uh, wing of the ship there. Look at him doing his thing. That beautiful blue hair. And those beautiful eyebrows. Oh God, please don't get hit by the freaking probe as we fly on by leisurely. All right, so uh, you do have to send him back inside, by the way. You can't just... Uh, can't just uh, sit there and float in the middle of space, although he can, you know, get left behind uh, on accident, which is, which is just a real shame. Uh, you'll need to use the phase rifles, uh, phasmids, aboard your ship. If one of your crew is incapacitated, uh, you can have another crew member use a med kit to revive them. Yes, yes. And that's the end of the training. Continue with the mission. Okay, sweet. Uh, we're going to turn off the gravity and... Uh, move Seeker over. We're also going to get uh, Paws over here into the gunner position. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get on over to the uh, the objective. All right. So yeah, if you're not careful, if you have one of your uh, one of your crew out on the side of the ship repairing something, they can actually uh, they can get left behind and uh, they'll, they'll just be floating out in space all horribly whatnot and uh, you gotta actually go pick them up and get someone on the tractor beam and try to save their lives I mean or just you know whatever leave them in the in the void of space if you really really want to it's, it's no big deal um, just you know a big big deal all right so we've got enemies inbound we'll accelerate time until they actually show up there they go okay I don't think I ever actually uh, redistributed our power properly. Hang on, let's, uh, let's do that. We'll get Seeker in there eventually. 
Hey, we didn't. Okay. We put that into shields, and then we'll send him on back to Gunner. And we got some more enemies to tag. Alright, we can actually uh, get some of our crew to focus fire here. It gives them 100% accuracy. It takes out these early waves really, really early on. Very effectively. As you can see, uh, little mama over here making quick work. She's our, uh, our tail gunner. Yep. Not bad, not bad. So we will actually move uh, into an attack position. Just because. Why not? Yeah, we'll go back into defensive. We've got just the uh, just the one group of three, and then the one left over from the from that first little bit. Not too bad. Oh, our reactor's taking some real hits. Okay, understand. Oh man, our reactor took some real damage there. You got this, Seeker. You got this. There's only one enemy left. You got this. Come on, pause. Yeah, okay. Well, that was a little rough. <laughs> some of our crew actually took some damage here. Send them over to the med kit, or the med bay, relatively quickly. We're probably going to get attacked again, I would imagine. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Seeker, humans are just another resource. <laughs> Sometimes you have to spend them for the betterment of everyone. That's, you're not wrong, Seeker. You're not wrong. All right, for now, I'll get you there. We'll get Rockman to, uh, leave Med Bay. I actually need to go visit the Med Bay as well. So we'll get that all taken care of. Do, 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 do. Once Rockman gets here, we'll probably be told that we have more enemies inbound, I would imagine. Actually, no, surprisingly. Okay. So that was a little rough, but all we had to do was fight those enemies, so... It's not too bad. We'll set that up, and whenever I end up working my way back to... Uh, to the piloting here, we'll, uh, we'll work our way back to the, uh, back to the, uh, the waypoint. Not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, it was a little rough, but, uh, that's just because our objective was just fighting. That's it. Oh, we do have more enemies inbound. Let's go on the defensive here. Now everybody's in a gunner position, wonderful. Our shielding does still have its little energy pips in. We will do this fight before we head back. Now, we could leave if we uh, if we so chose, but uh, it's only three ships. I think we'll be okay. Three ships for now, anyway. We'll set up some focus fire, try to take care of this as quickly as possible, and then we'll, uh, we'll get on out of there. Now, what, uh, what defensive mode is supposed to do is, uh, wherever you have the most shielding is where you're, uh, is where you're supposed to actually, uh, turn the ship and, you know, hopefully, you know, not, uh, oh, we got way more enemies coming in. Yeah, I think it, I think it would be best if we left. We're, uh, me especially, I've, uh, I've taken some real damage here. We should, uh, get out of here if possible. Uh, four ships coming in? Oh, actually, let's cancel that because, uh... We gotta deal with this. Yeah, we're not spending a minute and a half to, uh, to do that. For dang sure. 
dealt with one of them. Focus fire does take a while to uh, get back in, but uh, it's not too bad. Mostly have to watch my own health here. Taking some fire to the gunning position. Come on, one left. Let's get out of here. Alright. Hopefully we don't get attacked again. We got some decent experience though. Not like a whole bunch, but not too bad. Please, let us get out of here. Alright, we didn't die. Yay us. Let's get back here. But yeah, you probably can stay over there, uh, fight a bunch of more enemies if you really, really want to, get a bunch of experience. But uh, yeah, we were getting a little, uh, little long in the teeth there. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Mission complete. Alright, halfway to level 3. Not too bad. Alright, well, as far as the first episode is concerned, I think that's going to do it. That's most of the tutorial done. Um, <coughs> and uh, in the next episode, hopefully, hopefully, um, we'll uh, not die. But anyway... If you want to be either a security officer or a gunner, please, in the comments down below, uh, leave your name, give me a rough approximation of what your character wants to look like, and uh, I'll throw you in here. First come, first served, obviously. Um, but anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye